Hey guys, it's Holly from The Run Experience. Today we are at Midline in San Francisco and I am gonna tell you how to run properly on a treadmill. I'm gonna show you how to properly set this thing up, get everything dialed in for optimum uh, training, and also uh, give you guys some tips on uh, run form and everything to make the most out of your time on the treadmill today. Okay guys, so before I get into the specifics of the treadmill and how to set it up, I wanna talk about the benefits of it versus running outside. You know, sometimes it's not always our choice to be on this thing, but there are a lot of good reasons why you should be. First one being, it's a great place to be if you can't be outside, if it's dark or cold out, if you don't wanna run alone, something like that, this is always a good place to go. Um, the other thing is lower impact. So. As far as if you're always running on pavement, this is definitely gonna be a little safer on the body. It's gonna beat you up a little bit less and um, it's, just, it's just a lot more controlled. So if you're not feeling great, you can slow that speed down, you know, drop that gradient, whatever it is. Uh, next, it is awesome for focusing on your form. So if there's you know, a lot of stuff outside, you know, there's cars going by, there's people to look out for and everything, you're not totally focused on how you're running. So on the treadmill, you can actually really focus, hone in on your, on your feet, on your upper body, like how are, you, how are you running and how are you running well? So that's a good place to focus on that. And lastly, um, if you are running in an area or sur surroundings with no hills, but you're maybe training for an upcoming race that's gonna be up a huge mountain, this is the place to go. <laughs> you don't wanna run flat with all the months leaning up and then you get to that race and you have 2,000 feet to climb. So this is an awesome place to up those hills, uh, get that interval training in and everything else. Uh, let's get into the specifics of the treadmill. Okay guys, so I wanna get into the logistics of how to set up your treadmill. A lot of you maybe have just jumped on a treadmill before and just hit the speed and kind of took off without really knowing what your plan was or how to um, adjust it if need be. So today we're gonna get into the specifics of how to optimally set up your treadmill. We're gonna talk about speed, we're gonna talk about incline, we're gonna talk about uh, emergency stopping, and then everything else in between. So that first part, the speed, I'm gonna show you guys, there's two different uh, ways to speed it up here. Um, on this treadmill, you can do it just manually by, by cranking it all the way up, but on a lot of the new treadmills, you can actually hit the number that you wanna go to. The speed is gonna be how many miles per hour you're running. So I'm gonna start here. I'm actually gonna show you guys on this, this little speed buttons here. We're gonna go up a little bit. This is gonna go up gradually, so by 0.1 each time, but if you hold that down, obviously it'll go up faster. Um, as far as starting on a treadmill, always start with a walking pace. You can just get comfortable there, feel what it's feeling like, and then go from there. Um, obviously up and down can be messed with here as well as on the handrail a lot of times, and that one's a good one for if you're already in the middle of a run, maybe you're running a little bit faster. For incline, same thing, so up and down the same way, although this time we're talking about percent of gradient. So. Between five and 8% is something that's moderate to start with if you're, if you're just dabbling and running on a hill on the treadmill. Um, beyond that, obviously, it's up to what you're training for. Again, I can go up here. For the purposes of today, I'm gonna show you guys at 4% incline right here. And it'll just kinda, you hear the treadmill coming up a little bit to create that hill for me. You'll start feeling a little bit more resistance as well. Next thing is the emergency off button. I maybe should've even started with that. <laughs> um, all treadmills have this. It's usually just a magnet hooked up to this treadmill here with a string, which you can clip in some way to you or you can just hang on to it. It's whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Basically, when you pull the thing off, it immediately stops the treadmill. So, I'll take this up to a speed that I would probably want to escape from <laughs> at some point. So say I'm just running right here, everything's going okay but all of a sudden maybe I start to get super out of breath or my ankle starts to have this shooting pain through it or something, I can just rip that emergency stop off and you see it safely takes me to a stop without throwing me off the edge of the treadmill there. <laughs> so that was an example, not a dangerous one, but it could be, so it's always good to know where it is. We'll start this thing back up again so I can show you. Once this goes back, <laughs> good thing I've never had to use this before. Um, that, as long as the magnet is detached, it will not go anymore because it's assuming you've flown off the back of the treadmill. So, all right, we're gonna crank this thing back on. And so those are the three things, or the two things that you can mess with, and then the one thing that I want you for sure to know where it is, uh, speed, incline, and the emergency stop. Okay guys, the other thing I wanna talk about is how to get on and off this treadmill, assuming it's not an emergency stop. Um, there's two options for this. You've got your straddling the sides, so you can really just 
jump off and on the treadmill at you, as you want without adjusting the speed. The other option is gonna be gradually bringing that speed down to a stop safely. So I'm gonna show you both. Let's do that first one. We'll just do the gradual slow down. Take it up here. Just running just under a five, five mile an hour pace. Say I wanna stop, I can just hold this speed button down. It'll take that down for me until I'm comfortable to walk and then go all the way down to an off if I want. Let's go with that second one. I'm gonna run a little bit faster and show you what it's like to just jump off to the side mid run. You take this up. Good, so I'm running here. Maybe I get a little pain in my ankle or maybe I feel a little bit out of breath. I wanna just jump off quick. Put my hands on the rails right here and then just jump off to the sides while the belt keeps going. If I wanna jump back on this thing, same thing, but very much controlling my legs as I go. Keep my hands on there till I feel good and then keep running from there. And off. And that is how you get on and off the treadmill. All right guys, the final thing I wanna talk about today is going to be run form. So how can you use this time on the treadmill to really focus on making your running better, especially for when you then go outside. So I'm gonna kick this thing on again, bring that speed up. And all I'm gonna do is just basically talk about a few things uh, that I want you guys to think about while you're on this. We'll go at kind of a nice moderate pace so I can talk to you while I'm doing it. So I've got this just over a five mile an hour speed. Once I'm comfortable in here, I'm gonna start taking notice of things. So are my feet pointing straight ahead? Are my toes turned out or are they tracking right in front of me there? Are my hips sitting back or am I pushing them forward? That's what you wanna for sure be thinking about here, especially if you're going up a hill. The other thing is a nice relaxed arm swing, but also one that's giving you some power. So crossing in front is not really doing anything, it's taking it away. But if we can keep those arms straight forward and back, that's perfect. Lastly, our head and chest, we want nice and upright. No leaning over or looking at the treadmill, that's not really doing a lot for us, so everything nice and tall. And those are the things that you really should be focused on here on this treadmill. Let's slip this down. The reason we like these things is that there's nothing else going on. Like I said, there's no cars to look out for or people to be aware of around you. So in this situation, even I have a mirror, I can check out what's going on. Am I totally falling apart? Are my feet everywhere? You know, this is, the, this is a really good time to hone, on, hone in on those things and adjust the speed to allow you to focus on those. All right guys, so I know that running on a treadmill can be totally monotonous sometimes and you know, it feels like five minutes is five years or something, but there are a lot of ways to break it up and there are a lot of things to focus on and you can actually design your treadmill workout to match those needs. So all those run form tips I just gave you, feel free to break them up as, as separate workouts. So maybe one day you're focusing on just keeping your feet straight, you know, always checking in on that. Maybe the next day or the next time you're on that treadmill, you're working on your arm swing. Can you keep that nice and consistent? Give yourself time to address these things. So I know it's hard to kind of do it all at once, you know, and just try to be a better runner, you know, in, in five minutes. But if you can break those things up, it's a good way to go. The other thing is how you run on this. You can break it up into intervals for speed, hills, time, walking, jogging. You can, you can mix things up so that it doesn't feel so redundant the whole time. And lastly, if you want to do a long run on here, give yourself some music, listen to your favorite podcast. Some people like to watch TV on here, but you can zone out and that's not always the great way to go. But, you know, spend that time, you know, just getting the miles in. This is always obviously benefiting you and you're on there for a reason. So break that run up how you need to use these tips and hopefully you will like the treadmill a little bit more. Guys, if you are looking for more ways to train with us, we have an awesome two week quick start program. Um, it's free for you. We have a bunch of run workouts in there, some mobility stretching tips for before and after your run, some injury prevention guidance there, and of course some awesome strength workouts for you. All you have to do again is click that link at the end of the video, put your name and email, and we will send those to you. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Any comments or questions, something about the treadmill didn't make sense, or maybe you have some kind of question about you know the workout or, or anything I gave you today make sure you drop that in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to our channel we have new videos coming out every single week we want you to see them so make sure you do that and I think that's all I have for you guys today I'll catch you in the next video